For our next short video segment, it's my pleasure to introduce Cameron Marlowe, who is the head of the data science team at Facebook. Um, and so the Hi. first question to you is, how did you first get into social network analysis? Uh, I first got into social network analysis by taking a course with Keith Hampton at MIT uh, on social network analysis. Uh, it was an introductory course in 2001. Um, and uh, it was the, frankly, I think the best course of my life. I don't know if it was the subject matter of the teacher or both, but uh, ever since then, I've uh, been interested in study social networks. So um, that's where I got my start. Cool. And so then you started applying it, but not immediately at Facebook. So mm -hmm. what was the path there? Uh, what was the path? So, um, yeah, so I've always been interested in social networks, but, you know, it's difficult to measure uh, um, measure them. So, you know, one uh, source of data has always been the web. Uh, and so I've always been interested in, in sort of extracting uh, social networks from uh, from different social media and online communities. So I studied weblogs for my uh, for my PhD thesis and went on to Yahoo Research where I studied communities such as Flickr and Delicious, but really like was attracted uh, to come to Facebook uh, because here the social norms of the site have produced uh, uh, a network which very closely resembles the real sort of the real social network of, of humans. So uh, a lot of the work that we do here, we, we can, we can uh, sort of ex extrapolate, you know, more general phenomena about how human social networks work. Okay, so can you expand a little bit on that? What role does the social network play at Facebook, how it operates? Uh, so it's hard to underestimate uh, the importance of social networks in the way that people at Facebook think. So. Uh, I would say that I was unique in my research and the people that I interacted with when uh, I was at, you know, at, at Yahoo Research. Um, but here, everyone really thinks and operates on uh, concepts of social networks. So just to give an example, um, you know, the way that we fundamentally store data here um, and access it for like all parts of the, the site are um, you know, is as a graph. So uh, most most of Facebook's data is uh, represented as nodes and edges in, in a very large uh, graph of people and, and objects and and uh, and um, uh, conversation. So um, that you know, it's sort of part of every everyone's everyday life. Um, you know, and, and some of the social network concepts that you deal with uh, in, in courses like LADA's come up, uh, you know, in, in everyday work. So, you know, this idea that the degree distribution has a very high variance and there are some people with like lots and lots of connections and like most people have, you know, some connections. Um, you can't really build a service, you know, or uh, you can't really build a, um, a product at Facebook without taking this into uh, to account because some of your users are just going to have such an enormously different experience with their 5,000 friends, um, which we sometimes call whales uh, uh, here, uh, than the average user, you know, which has um, 150 or, or 200 friends. Okay, yeah. thanks. Sure. So I guess uh, that's that, and stay tuned for more of these clips. Yeah. Thanks, Cameron. Bye.